only 11 can be on the field at one time, and so we, we're going to try to utilize as much as we can to help us win games and get them develop mismatches on the field. How much does this come down to Tanner needs to be the guy who really makes mismatches happen and makes big plays happen with his ability to read what's happening on the field? Definitely, and, and he's got a great coach, and, and I think that the way he's progressed, I've been really excited about his uh, just understanding the offense and understanding the different spots and, and what he sees from the defense and then taking what, what he can get, you know. I think he's making wise decisions now, and it's a, you know he's got another nine days to prepare for it. But um, I, I've been really pleased with how much he's matured in the quarterback position, but also as a leader. Even if you were to match the production he had two years ago, is he going to have to do it differently? It's going to look different than the ways he played then. Yeah, I think I think it, well, he's a little older, but I think we have different pieces to, to what he had to deal with two years ago. You know, and it's a different system, but. And I think what Ty has done with the offensive staff is established a lot of different ways to attack a defense, and uh, we'll see what fits best for each week. I, I don't think we're going to be the same way every week. I think I think we're going to utilize different spots, but we've been preparing for this since you know since the spring, and so we can kind of know what, what our identity is going to be, and uh, we'll work on that. And I think that it's coming along really well. Right now. As a defensive guy, how often did you look at the personnel and use that to anticipate what the offense was about to do? And how much do you worry about tipping your hand here with the personnel groups? Well, the goal is to get some tendencies and, and have people look at it and then maybe switch them up. So who knows? It. Um, it's a it's a game. When it comes down to the players make the plays and they win games, and there's sometimes a, there's a, there's you can cover as well as you can, but a quarterback makes a great throw, the receiver makes a great catch, and there's not much you can do about it if everything's clicking on all cylinders. You guys are replacing those two inside defensive tackles. How how comfortable do you feel with the guys the rotation you got in there? Oh, really good. I, th I think that um, you know with with handsome and Kesney and and Kyrus. Uh, I, I know I feel good about that group. I, I, I feel good about Lorenzo coming on as a freshman. Solo has done a great job. So there's a lot of bodies there that, and, and it goes to you. He's done a great job with that D line. So I feel really comfortable with the B type of positions. I don't think that's going to be a problem for us. What it is it about Kyrus that you just really, really enjoy watching him play? Well, have you met him? He's a monster. So he's big, and that helps, you know, and the size, and he's athletic. And so, um, you know, I don't want to put too much on someone, but. Um, their job is to just disrupt and own the trenches, and so uh, it's not a, a flashy job and probably doesn't get a lot of stats, but uh, they're going to do the dirty work and, and uh, allow our guys to make plays in the backfield and as, linebacking and, and say, as linebackers and safety. So um, I think he's, he's up for the task, and then I, I know that for the other D tackles, they're ready to show that they can do some stuff. How many D linemen do you really have confidence in right now that you can put them in with this tough schedule you're going to face in September and know they can do it? I, I think we definitely have two deep, and in some places we have more than that. I mean, defensive end, we feel good about Corbin and Sione, but Trajan's done a great job coming along. We have, um, you know, Rhett Salmon's there, Lonnie Tufo's done a great job as a freshman, so, and then Uriah's there too, so there's, I just named six D ends that they can play, and I think we have just as many D tackles. So uh, we feel really good about a solid two deep, and maybe possibly three in some spots. So Francis, can he still contribute on scout team? Oh, what's the plan for him just this coming? Yeah, just basically what, what we said on the release. So I know you're going to have to ask the questions, but I'm not going to go into specifics on everything. But he'll be, but what it said in the release, that he'll be with the team and he'll be practicing with us. The freshman IU uh, at safety, do you, do you see him having a role? Oh, yeah. I mean, I, I think that we've, we've tried a, a few things with him, too, and he's a great athlete. I, we wouldn't have um, tried Hadley at linebacker in different places if we didn't feel great about the depth of safety. You know, and I think he has he's added a lot to that group. He's just a freshman, but he's um, really good, and um, that I've been really pleased with the way that that group has come along in camp. And you know, they're going to be, I think we're going to be fine in that, in that position. We, we do some things where we add more DBs to the on the field depending on personnel as well. So he he can he can fit well. I kind of fill in in those spots as well. Good? I hit it all. Good. Thank you, guys. <laughs>